Hi, I'm Eden from California. Please like and subscribe to MSA. Ever since I was little, I hated my parents. They ignored me 24-7 because they were famous actors. They were always shooing me away while they signed autographs for their fans and talked on the phones with their agents. Can't you read me a bedtime story just this once? Eden, just take something from the shelf and look at the pictures. Luckily, I had someone at home to be with, so I didn't lose my sanity. My Aunt Zoe. Aunt Zoe was kind of a teenager. She wore heavy makeup and tight clothes and was obsessed with social media. Time for our morning selfie, baby girl. My aunt was my live-in BFF. But one day when I was in 10th grade, my parents decided to ruin my life. I woke up and smelled smoke, so I ran downstairs to see what was burning. But I didn't see anything. Instead, my parents were just sitting on the couch and told me the worst news ever. They made Aunt Zoe move out. Don't worry, you two can still keep in touch. But your mother and I have decided it's best if just the three of us are in this house. Why? Because she's too helpful around the house? Because she actually cares about me, unlike you two? Do you smell that smoke, Eden? My sister was cooking breakfast this morning and started a fire. She's a child trapped in an adult body. We love her, but we can't live with her. I was boiling with anger. I refused to speak to mom and dad for days. But one night, I agreed to go with them to a celebrity after party, but only so I could get dressed up and get free refreshments. At one point, I was standing by myself when this famous teen actor came up to me. Hey there, gorgeous. Just say your name and I'll make an autograph out for you. I really don't want it. Maybe go make another girl's dream come true? I started to walk away, but the guy pulled me close to him. Stop fighting your desires, princess. You deserve this. With that, he leaned in as if he were about to kiss me. I shoved him off so hard that he fell backwards onto the refreshment table, smashing it in half. Uh-oh, I hadn't meant to hurt the guy, but everyone started freaking out and rushing to him as they called the ambulance. All the party guests went ballistic at me. My parents and I got kicked out of the party and me assaulting the celebrity was all over the news. My parents were furious. You've completely ruined our reputation. Now everyone thinks we have a maniac for a daughter and no one's hiring us. Apparently, Eden has violence issues we didn't know about. Violence issues? That's gotta be a joke. My parents were serious. They registered me for an anger management group every week for four months. It was the dumbest thing ever. And everywhere I went, people would stare at me. One morning, I decided to lock myself in my room for the day to have a break from everyone. Then suddenly, I saw my door lock moving and Aunt Zoe burst in with a police officer. Eden, your parents are missing. What do you mean missing? They were last seen shooting a movie in the Joshua Tree Desert. Now there's no trace of them. I felt my heart pound as I thought of mom and dad lost somewhere in the desert. I had barely talked to them in the last week because we were fighting, but now I felt horrible. Listen, baby, I don't want you to worry about anything. The police are going to search for them. I'll move in and take care of you in the meantime. I hugged my aunt tight. I was so grateful she was by my side. She spoiled me extra that week with breakfast buffets in bed and trips to the spa. The house was 10 times messier than usual, and Aunt Zoe threw multiple midnight parties during the week but I had missed her so much. Then one day, I was at school and went to the library to study for exams. But as I was wandering through the aisles, I felt someone watching me. I turned around to see the crazy actor who tried to kiss me, staring at me through the open bookshelf. Hey there, princess. You happy to see me? Oh my God, what are you doing here? Did you track me down? I did in fact track you down, because even though you tried to kill me, my heart is still screaming for you. I've never met a girl who's played so hard to get before, and I like it. He walked around over to me and stood inches away from my face, and I just lost it. I slapped him hard across the face and he cried in pain. Listen, you psycho creep, if you don't get lost this second, I'll call the cops, and I'll hurt you for real this time. If I were you, I wouldn't take any chances. I stormed off and decided to get coffee with Aunt Zoe to cheer myself up. Before we went out though, Aunt Zoe insisted on wearing mom's clothes. She has so many designer dresses I'm in love with. I don't think she'd mind, would she? Uh, no, I don't see why she'd mind. 
Actually, I have to tell you something important. Once we were settled at the cafe, I told my aunt everything that had happened. But to my surprise, she shrugged like it was no big deal. You know, sweetie, maybe you should date him. He's super cute and he's like a huge star. You could be famous just like your parents. I'm sorry, are you suggesting I date someone who tried to kiss me, turned everyone against me, and stalked me? You're overthinking this, Eden. Dating a star like that could change your life for the better. But maybe you're too young to understand. I was shocked. How could she be so blind and insensitive? I knew I wasn't overreacting. But if nobody wanted to support me, then so be it. I would take matters into my own hands. I called the cops that day and told them the situation. And thankfully, I was able to get a restraining order against the guy. I wanted to cry of relief. But when I got home, I heard laughter coming from upstairs. I walked up to see what was going on and saw my parents' bedroom door was wide open. And inside was Aunt Zoe. She was wearing mom's clothes again and talking to the mirror. The weirdest thing was, she was talking in mom's voice. No, no, thank you. I can't believe this is my third Golden Globe. Oh, you're a fan too. Oh, you guys are so sweet. I can't take it. Um, aunt, what are you doing? Just having a little fun, playing a little dress up. Was there something you needed? I felt really confused and weirded out. What did Aunt Zoe mean she was playing dress up? I decided not to dwell on it and got right to telling my aunt about the restraining order. I'd hoped she'd be happy for me, but instead, she looked super pissed. I can't believe you'd do something so stupid, Eden. Do you know what I would do to be wooed by a celebrity like that? To be seen with him in magazines and to be famous? Poor me, a star actor tried to kiss me and tracked me down to profess his love. Ugh, cry me a river. Uh, yeah, he tried to ruin my life. Aunt Zoe ignored me and walked out of the room. Did she really think fame was more important than my own safety? She was insane. And the dressing up as mom in the mirror was strange too. Maybe Aunt Zoe just really missed my parents and was acting out. Things were awkward between us that week, and Aunt Zoe started acting weirder. Not only was she dressing every day in mom's clothes and talking in mom's voice, she started going by mom's name. Eden, you're not allowed to call me Aunt Zoe anymore. You have to call me Aunt Savannah. And Aunt Savannah is off to an acting audition. Um, how? You're not an actress. What are you talking about? Aunt Savannah is a star actress. Aunt Zoe pulled out her phone, which was opened to mom's email account. She had been talking with a bunch of directors pretending to be mom. If they notice I look different, I'll just tell them I had a little plastic surgery. Aunt Zoe started laughing as she walked out the door. She was totally out of her mind. What was happening to my aunt? That night, I was asleep in bed when a loud machine woke me up. I ran downstairs to find Aunt Zoe shredding hundreds of pictures of my parents. Are you shredding pictures of mom and dad? It's something that has to be done. They're obviously not coming back, which means we have to perform a ceremony to say goodbye to them. All of a sudden, Aunt Zoe scooped up a pile of shreds and put it into a pot of boiling water. I'm putting their old pictures into a soup that we're going to eat. Then they'll really be gone for good. And I'll be the one who'll live here now. That is the most twisted thing I've ever heard. And you know what? I know I'm going to find my parents. The police were able to help me with that stalker actor, and I know they'll help me with this. And if you're going to act this crazy, maybe you shouldn't live here anymore. I fled from the kitchen and out the front door to the police station. I just didn't feel safe around my aunt at that moment. I spoke to the cops and asked for an update on my parents. I also told them about Aunt Zoe's weird behavior. Eden, don't worry. We're going to continue searching for your parents. Also, I think it's best I find you somewhere else to sleep tonight. Your aunt sounds mentally ill and you should stay away from her right now. I knew the policewoman was right, so I slept in a shelter nearby and went back to the station the next day. And when I got there, Aunt Zoe was waiting for me, looking furious. You little brat, you had me worried sick about you. Well, I'm sorry, but you were acting like a crazy person and I just couldn't be around you. Suddenly, Aunt Zoe ran up to one of the cops and hid behind them. Do you hear how mean my niece is being to me? She wasn't always like this. But ever since her parents went missing, she's turned all her anger on me. As her legal guardian, 
I want her to go to a psych ward so she can get proper help. I love her, but I can't live with her right now. I couldn't believe the words I was hearing. Luckily, the cop didn't believe Aunt Zoe and sent her to another room so they could do an investigation. I stayed with the police while they continued the search for my parents. I felt sick to my stomach. I wanted my parents back, and I wanted my aunt back. I stayed at the police station until midnight, feeling totally numb. Then suddenly, the door opened and the cops came in with my parents. I burst into tears and hugged them for the longest time. I don't understand. What happened to you guys? Your dad and I decided to drive to the movie shoot and we got lost in the desert. Luckily, we found some campers who were able to feed us. But still, we're so sorry we scared you. Before I could answer, the cops came over with a serious expression on their face. We just wanted to update you. We caught Zoe and put her back in the asylum. What do you mean, back in the asylum? My parents were dead silent and looked at each other. Eden, we know you love Aunt Zoe, but she's never been a mentally well person. The reason she moved out was because we sent her to the psych ward. She's always been jealous of your mother's success, and one night, she tried to set her bedroom on fire and hurt us. That's why you smelled smoke that morning. I was horrified and completely heartbroken. My aunt had been my favorite person in the whole world, but apparently, I never really knew her. God, I feel so stupid. I'm sorry I got mad at you guys when you kicked her out. You were only trying to keep me safe. Oh, darling, we don't blame you. We've neglected you for so many years, and as crazy as my sister was, she did take good care of you. But we're taking time off from work now. We're ready to give you the love and attention you deserve. We are so sorry about everything. We love you, Eden. I love you guys too. 